Hello everyone, back with another video. This time I created a video that will be part of a series that I'm calling Empathy Work. This video will showcase projects where students are performing empathy work to gain a deep understanding of their end user, the people who they are designing for. Hope you enjoy it. Design thinkers gain a wealth of knowledge by engaging in interviews with the people they are designing for and provides the opportunity to directly learn about what is essential to their user. Our second graders took on the role of city planners for the local community near their school. Students visited the local community to make observations, but also had the opportunity to interview with the community members. This was all set up by a parent of one of the students, the amazing Yoon Kim. Students were able to interview the manager of a Mercedes-Benz dealership, the owner of a coffee shop, a real estate agent, the owner of a construction company, and the high school students who live in the local boarding school. Here are the interview questions students ask their community members. The interview questions consisted of both specific and broad questions. For the specific questions, students were taught to ask why, to find the causes of the behavior or thinking of the community member. For example, when a student asked the real estate agent, what do you like best about your community? She explained that she enjoyed the location of the community. The student then asked why the location of the community is favorable. He found out that she drove to other communities for the diverse selection of food and entertainment. This insight showed the community members were seeking out other areas for things they wanted in their daily lives. The broader interview questions allowed students to gain information about the community members' lives, values, and habits. Students were able to find insightful patterns from the interview answers. By asking community members about their daily schedule, Students learned that many of them work for 8 to 9 hours a day. By asking community members what their interests were, students learned that younger people enjoyed consuming media, while older people liked to spend their time doing some form of exercise like golf or hiking. The students who lived in the boarding school stated that their schedule consisted of studying in the morning, classes in the afternoon, and then more studying at home. This information helped students realize that the community needed to provide its businesses and residents with spaces for relaxation and leisure activities. In the defined phase, students synthesized the information they found in their empathy work to develop a problem statement. A problem statement defines what the meaningful challenge is all about and guides students through the design thinking process to a desirable solution. The statement identifies the users, their needs, and any insights that can provide design opportunities. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about how my students use design thinking, please check out my book, Design Thinking in the Classroom. The link to the book is in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell for more education videos like this. I would like to give a special thanks to the following people for making this project possible.